The hidden treasure of Area Zero Part 2, the Indigo Disc, added every single starter Pokemon to the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet games. All 24 starter Pokemon, as well as the evolutions, have Pokedex entries in the game and are required to, of course, complete the Pokedex. Do you want to know where to find a specific starter Pokemon? Use the timestamps in the description below. Without further ado, here's where to find every starter Pokemon added to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. First thing you need to know is that you can't catch any of the starter Pokemon when you first start playing the Indigo Disc DLC. You have to complete the whole story first, meaning that you must catch Terrapagos in Area 0 and get an introduction to the Stellar Terra type. Once you've completed the whole story, you're ready to unlock starter Pokemon. You'll need to grind BBQs as your next step. A total of 12,000 BP is required to unlock all of the starter Pokemon. In the League Club room, which you can access by going to the entrance of the school and interacting with the gates by the front desk, you can look on the computer to find four contributions that you can make. They will be at the very bottom of the page and each cost 3000 BP. That's why you'll need 12,000 if you want to find all of the starters. Contribute the 12,000. Now that you've contributed the 12,000, let's go over where to find and catch all of the starter Pokemon. Starting with the Savannah biome first, you can find that Charmander, Rowlet, Totodile, Sobble, Snivy, and Fennekin were added to the wild. Charmander is very common to find in the grass. Rowlet is even more common and spawns about everywhere in the Savannah biome, also in grass. Totodile and Sobble don't have many spawn locations because they only appear in the muddy water looking areas. You'll find them swimming around in the water. Snivy can be found walking around in the dirt or grass. Fennekin spawns in grassy areas as well, a little near the central plaza. In the coastal biome, you'll be able to find Poplio, Chikorita, Mudkip, Froki, Grookey, and Bulbasaur. Poplio and Froki can be found swimming in the water or walking on sand or in grass. Grookey and Chikorita can be found walking around in the grass. Mudkip spawns in the torchlit labyrinth. Bulbasaur can be found on rocky surfaces or grass around the area of the torchlit labyrinth. And you can even find it in the labyrinth if you're lucky. In 
In the polar biome, you can find Oshawott, Scorbunny, Piplup, Chimchar, Torchic, and Cyndaquil. Oshawott and Piplup can be found swimming in water or walking around on the snow, and they're both pretty common, so you'll have no problem finding these two. Scorbunny and Chimchar will be walking on the snow up on tall mountains. Cyndaquil is one of the rarest of all the starter Pokemon to locate. It only spawns in the small cave on this iceberg over here. The cave has a Terra Duraludon in it and has a rare chance of spawning Cyndaquil. Torchic is the other rarest starter to find because it only also spawns in one little cave in the terrarium. Behind the polar plaza, there is a small cave entrance up on the mountain. Inside is a Terra Mutang and a rare chance of spawning Torchic. In the canyon biome, you can find Tepic, Squirtle, Litten, Trico, Chespin, and Turtwig. Tepic and Litten are really common and can be found walking around on the rocky surfaces or grass. Squirtle can be found swimming in the water. Trico is less common as it only spawns in a small portion of the biome, but you'll find it over here in the grass. Turtwig spawns in a wider area in grass. And finally, Chespin is the only starter Pokemon to spawn in two different biomes because it only spawns in the Charged Stone Cavern, and that cavern connects the Canyon Biome to the Polar Biome. That is all 24 starter Pokemon added to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. To get their evolutions, you'll of course have to level them up and evolve them all twice to complete all starter Pokemon Evolutionary Sets Pokedex entries. I hope this tutorial video helped you. If it did, please consider liking and subscribing to support my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in a future video.